420 things grow <clears throat> in Ontario. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another unboxing at the channel. This is a uh, non-sponsored video. Uh, this is um, some of the stuff that I buy from Amazon. I will put a link in the description for these items. What I like to use here is something uh, as far as, you know, things go fairly cheap on Amazon. You get a four pack of these things. Now, the problem with these four pack of these things, they are very, very cheap, okay? You gotta take that with a grain of salt. A lot of things on Amazon are cheap, and over there. Okay? But, if done correctly, you can, uh... Huh, there you go. So, what these are, are a little hygrometers, hygrometers, right? Humidity gauges. Okay. But you say, well, they're cheap and they're not accurate, right? So these just came out of the same box. One's at 59, one's at 60, and again, they just came out of the box, right? So you could get four of these, and what would happen was you would see four different readings, okay? Let's put the other two out and see what they look like. I'm going to grab my phone here real quick, see how much I paid for these. Now, I always take this, what I paid for these, with a grain of salt, right? Because uh, Amazon seems to be fluctuating their prices from day to day, minute to minute, hour to hour. So, I got these, and like I said, the link will be in the description. <coughs> I got these for, uh, okay, where is my stuff? $18.99 for four of them, okay? So, there is definitely some more expensive units out there. 60, 60, oh, look at that. And there are some crappier, cheaper ones, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little hack here to, to know, I don't know if anybody knows this or if it's just silly or not, but I'd like to share it with you guys to see. Oh! Well, drop that one. Give me a second, be right back. All right, <clears throat> I got all four out here. So, you're seeing 60 60 those are pretty close these ones i just these are the two that i just pulled out of the box so maybe they're going to take a second because they were definitely in this ziploc right so this was sealed so whatever humidity level was in there is what they were reading right but anyways once so they're 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 they're, they're tweaking this one definitely is a little low right oh, you say oh geez it's cold in your house there 420 things it is indeed chilly in my house so it looks like one's off. Sometimes I've gotten these <clears throat> and they be four or five percentage points off, right? So as far as one to be 59, one to be 54. So to decide what these actually are, we're gonna do a little bit of calibration. Well, maybe not calibration. We're gonna do a little bit of setup. So what we're gonna do, he said, what are we gonna do? We're gonna take these, we're gonna put them in the bag. Put all four of them in the bag. <clears throat> and then, what I do is I go back to my unboxing here. What else did I get? And let me see the price here on this as well. So it was on the same order. These are, now these definitely fluctuate from time to time and, and depending on the start of the year. Right now, they're available and they were actually decently cheap for a 10 pack, okay? 10 pack of these was 22 bucks. I've seen a 10 pack of these sometimes go for 42 bucks, okay? So check out stuff on Amazon um, before you, you know, check the pricing. Website like Camel Camel Camel, something like that, just to see the pricing, okay? So a 10 pack, so these are 62% relative humidity. A lot of people use these for keeping cigars, you know, um, at a certain humidity level. They're two way packs, right? So. Let's, let's, uh, I'm gonna put some pause, get one of these out and see what they look like in, in person here, hold on. All right, so what you have here, it's like a, it's almost like a, like a brown paper bag material, but a little bit thicker. Clearly there's some sort of seal on the inside, like grass, uh, or uh, plastic. But maybe not, because it, it helps with the moisture. So do not eat or tear open, yep. 
Um, and this is what this is, a 30 gram size, okay? <clears throat> there's bigger ones, there's smaller ones. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take these, and I'm going to throw them in this bag. I'm going to take more than one, I'm going to throw it in this bag. Alright, so these, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever seen, if you were to take one of these right now, like it's, it's like a liquid or a gel in there. If I were to let this sit out here in my house, because my humidity level in my house is not quite 62, this will turn into rock hard, like crystal, like it, whatever, I'm not sure what it does, but it turns into rock hard and you know that it's no longer um, giving out moisture out of itself. So these ones, um, they're in the bag and it's not instant guys, like you know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these sit in here and then once I've let these sit in here, I don't know, an hour, some time, let it, I mean it is, you know, inside this big Ziploc bag. I could've used a smaller Ziploc bag, I just didn't have any of my thing. So um, you can then uh, put this in here, let it sit for a bit, and let it let it get up to humidity. So if even if this thing says 42, okay, if it says 42, but you know it's in a bag because it's 62, 42 really means 62. So I have a, I have some of these because I use these. They go right into a uh, you know a, a, like a, a mason jar. They're nice. They can go right into a mason jar. Okay, they're small. You can see them from within the mason jar. You can see. You can measure. It's good stuff for curing, right? So, um, I like to do this, I like to have these, I like to have these, and again, then I know, right? So, 42, but it's actually in, it been in the bag for a couple hours with these 62, you know that this bag is sealed, it's nice and sealed. Well then guess what, it's actually 62 in there. So then, then that's what I do, is I take a little piece of tape, make sure I'm not covering, that. see that spot on the back? Can you guys see it? There, the glare, see that little spot? That's where it's taking the moisture. I definitely want to put the tape over that, right? Put a tape over the battery, and I'll write 42 on it. So then I know, okay, it's 42, it's in there. And again, and then I'm not spending 20 or $30 on one of these. I'm just spending that on that. So, hey guys, uh, I don't know if this is helpful, how, uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's how I hack it. I don't know if it's, uh, it's, it makes sense to me. That's why I do it. And, uh, yeah, it seem to, uh, seems to help me out all the time. So, um, just as an FYI, these... Ovita packs, they have a bunch of different humidity levels. It's not just the 62. I like the 62, but um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, two-way humidity control. Purified water molecules. Oh, that's what it is. So anyway, so yeah. Good stuff. If you like this, like, subscribe, do all that jazz. Come back to the videos, and uh, yeah, like, uh, I got a bunch of different uh, videos on the channel, so check them out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a couple hours, and 62, 62, 61, 62. So, imagine that. One's off that one. I knew it was gonna be low. It's off by one. So, guess what? We're good. Now, the temperature, look at that. 72 over there, 73 over here, 71 over here, 72 over there. So, that also uh, is a little bit wonky with these, but I'm not really 100% uh, you know, um, using this as a thermometer, I have some other thermometers, I got the laser one, I got a bunch of different stuff, so, humidity though, away we go, cheap humidity gauges, hygrometers, uh, for uh, 20 bucks, and uh, some packs that if you're using this for what you might be using it for, you might be having some of those already, so, you can calibrate it, you know, throw these ones in some jars, so those ones in other jars, and away you go. All right, well, um, I know the video was over, uh, but if you stuck around, we're gonna get a bit of a of a bonus here. I know it says do not rip and do not open, but this one is, like I was saying, see that's rock hard? We're gonna rip this open and see what it looks like inside, because I was like, oh, I wonder what's inside. So, like I said, I thought there was some sort of plastic. Okay. So. Let's see what this crystallizes, Steven. Look at this. It's like ooh, hard, plasticky kind of. Huh. It's weird. It's a little bit gooey here in the middle. But, anyways, that's what it is. So, now hopefully that's not toxic. I'm assuming it's not toxic because people use it for the cigars and stuff like that. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway, so I'm going to go wash my hands, but that's what it looks like once it's uh, done its thing and no longer is liquidy and jelly.